Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm giving my first thoughts and a look at the Motorola Moto E second generation on Boost Mobile. Um, been wanting to get this phone for a while now. I've seen several reviews on YouTube about it and I finally decided to go ahead and buy me one and see how I like it and so far I am not disappointed. Uh, this is a very nice phone, very very well built phone. And, you know, this is going to be my first initial thoughts of the phone. My next video will contain all the specs and the tests that I normally run. But for right now, this is going to be my first thoughts and just some things about the phone that I like and stuff like that, you know, to get it started off. So, anyway, phone is built very solid. Um, so, first thing that I noticed about the phone when I got a hold of it was its weight is pretty heavy, which is nice. Uh, it does feel plasticky, but it feels extremely well made. I mean, like, like it would take a few drops. I mean, it just feels very solid. Uh, the back battery cannot be replaced, and the back does not come off at all. Uh, it has a little band around here that unsnaps to re to where you can see your or install your micro SD card and access your micro SIM card. And you can also buy different ones, different colors, stuff like that to kind of customize your phone a little bit better. The phone is very white, as you can tell here, and so of course you can see it would be very prone to get dirty or get dingy, um, but you know not a big deal. Uh, this is a this is a budget phone, but it's a very nice phone. Um, you know it's very solid, and so far this is an awesome phone. I've only had I've only used it for like a day. I've had it for like two days, and um, I'm going to first speak on battery life. I gave it a full battery charge. Um, I have been using it to take pictures, about 20 minutes of video. Um, I've watched several YouTube videos, um, downloaded apps, downloaded games, getting my account set up, uh, just going through all the settings and setting everything up. And I mean, all that stuff. Made a few phone calls, some text messages, and I'm 14 hours in and. I have 45% battery life left and it says 14 hours estimated time remaining so pretty good battery life I think the battery is 2390 milliamp hour battery so not bad it does seem to get pretty good battery life of course if you're a power user you probably won't get that good a battery life but it is what it is um, the second another thing about it that I like about it that I believe all phones should have is a front speaker. It's so nice to be able to get on the phone and watch YouTube, Netflix, WWE Network and be able to sit there with the phone laying down and be able to have the, the sound coming towards you instead of it being muffled and everything else. I believe that every phone should have the front speaker. Of course the speaker's up here up top with the ear speaker. That's kind of like a half and half thing. Um, so yeah. But it is nice. Pretty good output and like I say, I'm not disappointed one bit. Um, I think I mentioned the camera. Uh, 5 megapixel camera on the rear. 720p recording and a VGA camera in the front. Front facing camera and it's kind of light in here. Kind of disappointing. Not the greatest, but it is VGA. Rear camera does, have some, does take some pretty good pictures. Pretty good video and all that good stuff. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to think of something else. The phone's got a really nice curve to it. I like that about it as well. Um, you know, it's really rounded and it just fits comfortably when you're talking on the phone. So that's a really nice plus as well. Screen quality looks good also. You can tell here it looks really nice. It's not HD, but it looks very good. Uh, actually, the brightness is almost all the way down on this phone right now. And it's still very bright enough to see everything. When I got the phone cut on the first time, it was like halfway up on like 50% brightness. And it was very bright. So going outside in the sun, it should be able to be very easily seen, being able to brighten the screen up a lot more. Because uh, even in the house with a regular light, you know, almost all the way down, it's very easily to see. Um, the front of the phone here, as you can tell, has, has, has a lot of body to it, top and bottom. And this could have easily been a phone with a 4.7 inch display um, you know it's 4.5 inches uh, but like I say it's got so much room on the front that it could have been a 4.7 inch display you know but it is what it is 
low end of low end device with decent specs for a good price. You know, you can't expect you know everything, but it'd have been nice to see a little bit bigger screen on this phone. Uh, one thing about this phone that I do not like, and with all this screen, I mean with all that body on the front, there is no notification light. Nowhere on this phone. And you would think with all that room, they could have found one little spot to put a light to blink when you got a missed call or text message. To some it's not important, to me it's very important. Um, I like to have a light showing me when I have a missed call or a missed anything, but it don't have that. So if you're looking for that, you won't want this phone if that's a must have for you because it don't have it. Uh, on the back, also has no flash for the camera. Like I say, to me, not a deal breaker. I like a flash on the phone mainly to use the flashlight to see in the dark or if the power was to go out. They just cut on the flashlight and look around or what, or something like that. It was really nice to have. Uh, don't have that either. So, you know, like I say, low end device, you know, decent specs, runs good, runs smooth, runs Lollipop 5.0.2. Supposed to get an update here soon from what I've read to 5.1 or 5.2. Um, so yeah, like I say, very nice phone. Uh, good call quality, good reception, good screen quality, good heft to it. Very good feel. Feels very solid. Um, it don't feel, like, don't feel like it would break very easily. Um, good battery life. So yeah, so far, I'm loving it. So we're going to use it a few more days. And I want to see how I like it. And that's just so stay tuned for the next video, which will be a little bit more in depth, showing you some tests and showing you, uh, giving you all the specs and all that fun stuff next time. So uh, stay tuned for that video. If you got any questions or comments about the Moto E second generation, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll give them. I'll, I'll give. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. Um, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. See y'all in the next video.